Hello, today I'll be coding something like another loader. So um, we're, we'll be starting with an assembly and uh, we're going to have a bunch of dots within it. So uh, let's say we have a number n5 of dots and here we have a loop. So for i starting from zero, going all the way up to nine, and then we increment it at every step, we have uh, a dot. Okay, uh, so um, we're going to have a diameter here, let's say something like 2.5 ends. I don't know if that's good enough, we'll see about it. And uh, we have the dots. Uh, actually, we're going to do this both for the dot and for an after pseudo element. Um, and we have something like this. Um, we're also going to say display inline block set a width equal to that diameter, a height equal to that same diameter. Um, now for the dot, I'm going to set the background. Okay, uh, we also set something like border radius 50% so that everything is round. Now strictly for the after, um, we set uh, content and we also set background um, current color. Okay, uh, now let's collapse the whole JS thing because we're not going to need it. And let's set a few styles on the body. So, um, um, text align center. Uh, we also set color. Uh, something like this and we set the background to a uh, current color okay so now that we've done this uh, we're also going to create an animation here so um, keyframes animation let's say um, so at zero and at 50% we have uh, transform scale um, let's make this uh, zero. Okay, and now we're going to set an animation here. So uh, animation. Um, we're going to uh, set a certain duration here. So uh, let's say one second. Maybe that's a bit. Okay, so we set that uh, animation duration. Uh, T and make it infinite. Okay, uh, and now we're also going to have a delay here. So um, in doing this, let's see. Um, here, we're going to set style and we're going to set an index, which is equal to the loop index. And here, we also set the total number n and of course we interpolate that n there so um, what we have here is first of all that index uh, over that total number um, times the animation duration and actually we're going to uh, subtract one here so we do this minus one so we have a bit of a delay and we're going to add another option here so which is zero by default and we switch it to uh, one here so that the effect looks a bit more interesting okay so now we have our effect and i think that's a bit too big so let's reduce it a bit so uh yeah, I think that that looks just uh, fine and I'm going to leave it like this. This is what I wanted to show you for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have and you want me to be able to put out more stuff in the future and not end up dying in a trash can, please consider supporting my work. You can do it with a donation, you'll find a link in the description or you can make this kitty very happy by getting her something off her Amazon wishlist. Or you can at least share this to show the world what can be done with CSS these days because I think it's pretty damn cool. In any event, thanks for watching.